how's everybody doing today? Today we're going to do the video of all about my truck. Um, I don't know how many people want to watch this video, but hopefully you guys will like it and hopefully some of you guys have had some interest in my truck. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, but just never have had the time to do it. So um, go ahead and jump right on into it. And I would be doing this video outside, but it's pretty windy and um, yeah, you probably won't really be able to hear me. So. This truck is a 1998, uh, it's a three quarter ton Dodge. It's got the Cummins motor in it, 12 valve. It was the last year they put a 12 valve in them. Uh, I bought this truck. It had already had the upgrades to it, which I'll talk about here in a minute. Um, the only thing appearance wise that I've done is I put the two inch cowl hood on it and the motor metal wheels with 35 inch tires. Other than that, how you see it is how I bought it. Now a little backstory on this truck. Um, my last truck was a 2006 Ford um, F350 with the 60 diesel in it and the transmission went bad. So I've, I've talked about this story before but I figured with all the money that I put in the last three or four of my trucks with the transmissions going bad, well that includes this truck I guess, but um, I was like, why don't I just go buy a new truck, you know, like a 6, 7 Ford or Dodge. And, um, you know, in the long run, I'm probably going to be saving money with not putting all this money into trucks. Well, you know, when I got money in my pocket, I started, started kind of burning a hole. So, went out and looked at trucks. Um, I seen this one, and it was about an hour and a half away. And I was like, well, it's my dream truck, and this is my dream truck. A silver second gen uh, with a 12-valve motor in it extended cab long bed uh, and it's a five speed so I bought this truck um, the guys that had it was uh, Superior Auto and Diesel in Shelbyville Indiana and they got it stock with a bent input shaft on the transmission and they did all the uh, performance uh, upgrades uh, shocks brand new brakes they already put uh, new metal metal wheels and tires on it and uh, the bit they put the move bumper, the grill, really anything already on the truck, and they just listed it for sale. So we'll go ahead and uh, pop the hood and show you what's under the hood of this truck. And um, it sucks because they, on their listing, they never really, and I I didn't even ask, but um, they they just said bigger turbo, bigger injectors. Uh, they put for turbo like 50 psi turbo. Um, for the valve springs, they just put high rev valve springs. So I really don't know what size the turbo is. I've never really cared to know what size it is. It, it will hit 50 PSI of boost. Uh, the injectors, well, it does smoke quite a bit when you're really into it. And uh, it, they said there's no pump work done to it, but I imagine there's a little done. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. And voila. That's falling down, don't worry about it. So like I said, the 12 valve Cummins motor, um, it's pretty much uh, like I said. Now when I bought this, all the performance stuff, the turbo, injectors, and head studs, it is head studded. Um, all that only has about 2,000 miles on it when I got it, so it's got probably four or 5,000 miles on it now. Um, as you can see, bigger turbo, aftermarket, SMB cold air intake, bigger injectors, which you can't really see those, but you can see the head studs. And um, who knows about pump work. I've been wanting to um, strip this paint off and either, well, two options. I've been wanting to get a aftermarket elbow or just strip this paint off and polish it because same way the valve covers. Um, I've seen a couple guys uh, polish those and the turbo housing but they said that was a pain in the ass so I thought about doing those and giving it a nice chrome look. Um, now this truck was a lot nicer when I first bought it and um, it was because everything they put on this truck was like brand new when I bought it. So the bumpers look really nice and as you can see, got a little rust coming coming on there. This is starting to fade and rust right there too. So 
What's all done to it? Now, I told you about the motor. It's also got an Air Dog 150 fuel system, which um, if you look back at my previous videos, you'll see that uh, I replaced the fuel filters on it. It's got the uh, Rancho, Rancho shocks, hard to say. All brand new brakes, pads, rotors, drums. Um, I put a new radiator in this probably about a month ago. Same day I did the starter. That's also on one of my videos. Now this truck also has about 235,000 miles on it. Um, I was looking, if I was going to buy a used truck, I was going to be trying to find a uh, lower mileage second gen Dodge or one that was completely stock because just like for this reason I was wanting to have a stock truck and build it myself so I knew what was done to it and with this truck I don't know the size of the turbo injectors um, well they said the transmission was rebuilt uh, it's the NV 4500 and after a month of having it, I snapped second gear or some gear in it and it grenaded the transmission so that's when I put the um, oh yeah I put an 800 horse rated dual disc a Valera clutch in it with their hydraulics and I put a rebuilt NV 4500 transmission with the upgraded shift forks and the fifth gear nut fix and the bigger input shaft the one and three eighths inch input shaft I think um, so that's really it and in case you guys are ever going to do a dual disc in yours this truck is, it's got 355 gears, I believe. I set it on the hood somewhere, but um, it kind of sucks because first gear, you can only get about five mile an hour, and if you're really hard on it, maybe 10. And um, you got to hurry and shift in the second, and you can't really start off in second because that clutch grabs so hard that it feels like the rear end's going to come out from under it. It just jerks and shakes and everything. Now, I love the clutch because it holds power. Um, they told me this truck had 600 horse. I don't really believe that, but yeah, I'd say it's probably about 500. Um, it does put down some pretty good power. And like I said, it'll hit about 45 pounds of boost pretty easy. Sometimes it'll hit 50 if it's in its happy spot. Um, but anyway, as you guys can see, this is the truck. And... Um, I'll show you some of the interior. Now with this being a 98, most of you be like, oh, that's a holy grail truck. Well, the doors don't open. Actually, it's not even doors. It is just the cab. And it's because it's a late 97, but it's titled as a 98. Um, it's a little messy, but it's pretty rust free, minus a couple spots on the rockers, which I don't know if you guys can see, but that is cracked right there where someone has bonded it. It's got the vinyl floors, which I love, which I've talked about in videos before. The seats are in very con good condition. This is a 24 valve and style interior. It's got the dash cover on it, so it looks like a normal dash minus the self tappers I put in it. I really want to get these windows darker and get a tinted windshield with double brow. Um, it's got. Oh man, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to talk about it, but these cab lights, these were not factory. I found out. These are some cheap $80 eBay cab lights, if they even cost that much. I bought some of these. These are the uh, Sylvania Super Bright LED 194 for your cab lights. These things are bright. You put all those in your cab lights, running lights, it looks like your headlights are on. And it sucks because I was going to do a video on it and everything is going to be badass, but those cheap cab lights don't split in half like uh, the factory Dodges. Those are just one piece. They're, the lights are hardwired in. They got a big square LED light in there. And so now I got to find normal Dodge headlights or cab lights to do that with, but Honestly, I'm probably not going to dick with it anymore because it's just really a pain in the ass to do just for some white lights. So, like I said, this has Moto Metal uh, 
20 by 12 wheels. Um, these are cheap ass mud train tires. They're Iron Man All Country tires. They're 35 inch by 12 and a half by 20. It's got a five inch exhaust. I'm guessing it's an M MDRP exhaust because the tip says it, but who knows. It does have a seven inch tip. It does have traction bars, which rattle like a son of a bitch. And um, this truck is, it's dirty right now, but this truck is pretty clean for um, being up here in the salt belt. And I was told it came from Texas. Don't know, haven't looked, but I don't know. It, it probably has been. It's got the move bumper. If you guys don't know anything about the move bumpers, they are pretty sweet. You can get these in three or four different designs, and they are different shapes for different trucks. This is what they'll look like if you get one for your second gen. You can get a different, you can get no light bar, where it's just a piece of metal that goes across or covering that. You can get one with a winch cut out, which would be down here, and you can get one with both of them. You can get one without pods, with pods, whatever. This kit is $400. Um, it comes all in pieces, so wherever you see weld marks, those are all pieces that they send you. Um, and you weld them up together. So it's $400, same price for the front and the rear. You can also get LED pods cut out for your uh, rear bumper too. And there it is where it says move. Uh, it's pretty sweet. I've been wanting to get one for the rear, but like I said, don't know if I will or if I won't. Alrighty guys, so this is pretty much going to do it for all about my truck video. Um, I think I went over pretty much everything that's been done to this. Uh, and I wish I had more specs on the injectors and turbo. Um, and if any pump work's been done, but I guess the world may never know. Um, hope you guys like this. Stay tuned for videos. And I'm actually going to be recording about three or four more videos tonight and uploading them through the week. And I'm sorry it's been about a week since I've uploaded any. The video I uploaded today, um, I'll probably upload this on Thursday, so tomorrow. But the video I uploaded today was the Ford F-150 uh, hit the manifold, the exhaust manifold. So make sure to check that out. There's a couple tips and tricks um, I didn't know about until I read about them. And they helped out a lot. So hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for all the subscribers. We're probably up to about 45. I know I know we got 45, but it might be close to 50 now. Um, the views are pretty great on a couple of the videos, and I appreciate that. So see you guys in the next video.